Well, he's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. He's extending the mask mandate. Governor Evers, uh, you know, riot-stoking, COVID-alarmist governor of Wisconsin extraordinaire is extending the mask mandate by another two months. So, Governor Evers declares public health emergency over college outbreaks issues new face coverings order. Uh, I wasn't sh- I heard some whisperings that you're not allowed to, in quick succession, declare two public health emergencies, you know, in that time span, but uh, maybe the legalese people will be able to fucking take care of that sort of thing. But anyway, let's get, dive right into this. It's fucking wankitude. Okay, Governor Tony Evers declared a new public health emergency over an increase in college outbreaks. Evers also issued a new face covering order. Evers' previous mask order was set to expire at the end of the month. So in like, yeah, it was going to expire on the 28th, um, which I was looking forward to. But I was sort of anticipating that he was going to extend it because obviously they, these guys, they probably want, let's be honest, what they want is ample media coverage, you know, like videos and photos of people in line at the polls wearing COVID masks. Like, that's just kind of what they want for the media and for... They also want, you know, the continued widespread economic ruination so they can point the finger at Trump. Um, All that nonsense. There's a lot of people hurting and progressives are going to take very cynical advantage of that. The new face covering order and public health emergency will expire after 60 days. So, late November, around exactly when the uh, frivolous strike on my main channel expires, funny enough. Earlier this month, UW-Madison shifted all classes online after an outbreak of coronavirus on its campus. Two dorms were placed into quarantine. Is that quarantine where they actually separate the sick people, or is that a lockdown, and then they misuse the word quarantine? I think... That's more or less what it is. But yeah, that was also, I remember when people were complaining or teachers were complaining or activists were complaining that people would have more unfettered access to lectures if they were streamed or recorded online, which I found pretty amusing. Uh, Who's saying this quote here? Uh, We continue to learn more about this virus, but what we do know is that we are facing a new and dangerous phase of the COVID-19 pandemic here in Wisconsin, said Ebers. No, we're not. The deaths are going down. Everybody knows that. The cases are going up, but the immunity seems to be, uh, you know, ramping up. And the masks don't really seem to... The masks and the shutdowns have had, you know, more of a detrimental effect than the virus itself, like with suicides and businesses ruining and people's jobs ruining... Um, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Not that these bougie pricks care. Uh, we need folks to start taking things seriously. I think people have been getting pretty histrionic and serious about it, dude. Young people especially, please stay home as much as you are able. Skip heading to the bars and wear a mask wherever you go out. That's absolutely backwards, man. The old people should stay at home, if anybody. But probably nobody. Like, let's be honest, this shit is, like, widely overblown. We already know that. The death count is, like, the real death count is probably under 10,000, honestly. We know that they were counting deaths with comorbidity. Was that the term? We need your help to stop the spread of the virus, and we all have to do this together. Um, no, dude, this is fucking nonsense. We're destroying the state of Wisconsin. Um, but luckily, the, uh... Republicans in the state of Wisconsin are gearing up to kind of oppose this. Uh, Representative Cody Horlocker of McQuanago is calling on the state's assembly in overturning the mask order, stating, quote, we need to stop Evers' power grab and return our government to the rule of law. And that's exactly what it is. It's a power grab. Um, yeah, I mean, they want to create a problem. They want to create this economic ruination um, so that they can swoop in with probably government goodies and I don't know, just never really fix anything, but just keep people dependent and stupid and fearful, ultimately. State Senator Van Vanguard uh, said that he was ready to vote to repeal the mask mandate. Sweet. Quote, instead of following the science and the data, Ebers is once again continuing his one-size-fits-all approach to the virus, doubling down on a strategy that has proven ineffective for the age group driving the COVID infection spike. Yeah. 
And check this out. This is the mandate, I guess, right here. Emergency order number one. Whereas Wisconsin is in the midst of a pandemic that is growing at a near exponential rate, causing an illness and death that is devastating Wisconsin families, straining our healthcare system and crippling our economy. Nah, not really, dude. It's crippling our economy because you're shutting everything down for months and months. And, you know, quarantining when it's not quarantine. <sighs> Telling babies to wear masks. Like, this is so dumb, dude. This is so retarded. Old people should stay at home, fine. If, if you want to be like that, go ahead. But really, we need to get the society up and running again. We need to get our businesses back and running again. People back to work again. That's what we need. That's what we fucking need. Hopefully the state uh, legislator... Legislator? The state assembly can uh, vote this out. That would be very refreshing. But in the meantime, you guys should mosey on over to this. This Recall Evers petition that they've been circulating... Lately, there's a map on this website, recalleversnow.com slash map of events. There's a little drop down list here. If you live in Wisconsin, you should definitely think about signing this because, I mean, dude, look at this mofo. Look at this, this lizard person, okay? Look at these pod people, okay? They got to go, all right? But yeah, so look up a signing event near you. This map will have a handy little guide see so I can zoom in you know common places are like Green Bay Appleton you know Racine it's Kenosha yep Kenosha signing got a Milwaukee signing on September 26th at 11.30 p.m. a.m. Pulaski Memorial Park yeah check that shit out but anyway please subscribe like click the bell please donate to my subscribe star and uh have a nice day, despite the fact that uh, there's going to be a lot of stupid mask wearing and COVID Karens to come. But, uh, I don't know. Subscribe, bitch.